Hello, hello, Aries. Aries, this is your first monthly message for October. Thank you all so very much. Please keep in mind I open up my monthlies for rising sign and moon sign Aries as well. So you can check out your rising sign, moon sign for the monthlies for October for further guidance, clarification. And as always, just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Um, dang, I want to say things were like, they, they felt so good at first, but then there was something coming in. Ugh. I don't even know. I just was like, oh, I feel disappointment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Aries. Um, damn. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't even know. Like, it kind of got me flabbergasted. <laughs> flabbergasted. And that's why I was like, all right, I got Apollo Santo, raise this vibration, use ro rose water. And, uh, you know, Libra is your opposite, right? Um, so, Libra energy for this month, as well as Scorpio. We have, uh, there was Sagittarius and Gemini popping in as well. Maybe a little Taurus and Capricorn. Yeah. Okay. So, a uh, little bit of the Cancer sign. Ironically, I'm not sensing much Pisces, which I thought, uh, you know, the Pisces energy seemed to have Aries in there being a cusp energy. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, there's going to be more than one video for this monthly for October. It is 10-6 when I am getting this out for you. Um, I got some music, so, and I got some names, okay? So take it how it resonates. Uh, it could be first names, last names, middle names, um, <clears throat> uh, what else, street names, city names, I don't know what kind of names, okay? I give some places and stuff. Sometimes I give music. And uh, like I said, it feels like everything really started out good. And then, uh, lo and behold, we got some, we got some, some Jezebel skanks. Okay. So this is, I always, as being a Libra myself and a Venetian, okay, I, I really try and decipher between love and lust. Okay. And when I see that type of shit, that ain't love. That's flesh. That's Jezebel. That's, uh, ugh. so maybe someone has some addiction to this. Uh, I mean, Aries energy, right? Mars and Scorpio. Oh my gosh. Double time. Maybe this person has that in their chart. Okay. So if this isn't you, right? Then someone in your, in your energy or your life, this is something that can disrupt and ruin relationships. These skanks, fucking skanks. Sorry, but I just can't. I just fucking can't. All right? And if you are that way, check yourself. Because I, I will promise you, if you want uh, me to tell you your future, it ain't going to be good. The karma's coming back around. And uh, you're going to get exactly what you've been fishing for. Okay? So, whether you're a masculine person or uh, a feminine, um, better check yourself before you wreck yourself, Ice Cube says. Okay, um, <clears throat> when I first started this channel, I had a lot of weird trolls that always wanted to, you know, show pictures of uh, straight up, straight up pornography or triple uh, X girls and shit like that. And I'm sorry we got to start with that, but we're going to clear this out because we're, uh, we're bigger people than that. We have more fucking class. Okay, and if you be watching that shit, th th here's your warning. You will ruin your fucking relationships. Good luck having a fucking committed long-term relationship. Intimacy with your partner doesn't need to be shared online. And if you were a single person doing that or looking, you're looking for love in all the wrong places, okay? Just keep that in mind. Uh, unevolved souls. that And they just kind of try and sneak in, don't they? Anyways, uh, let's begin. I don't even want to, I'm not even giving really dates and times. It was 10.15 on the clock, so maybe something about that. Libra energy, um, 10.03, the new moon in Libra, um, was really a, a, an eclipse as well for it, clearing out things that uh, are baggage, that no longer serve you, and planting seeds for the future. Libra's all about love and partnerships and uh, commitment and working with others as well. Scorpio is going to be more, I feel like they probably have some Scorpio in their chart or you do. 
if you're really um, obsessed with this uh, sex and porn shit, okay? Okay? <clears throat> you know, and I get it. It is what it is, but still. But still. Okay, so uh, the name Les was coming through quite a bit. Les. Um, I was also getting Clayton or Clay as well as Lawrence. Um, I almost want to say Florence and the Machine and Seven Devils. Oh boy, which which. I also got uh, the Whites. So interesting. So White is a name or a last name or a first name. So Santi Gold and uh, her name is Santi White um, and Lights Out, Darlin shoot up the station okay we also got some the name adam or adams dave 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 uh evan evans um hmm natalie anna okay let's see chris someone yeah anyways lacquerhead so this person also might be like someone who like huffs paint or huffs gas uh, so primus primus lacquerhead um <laughs> sorry i'm sorry guys so the first time i like i said it started out really good i got natalie merchant and wonder okay so i'm i'm deciphering who this this might be and your energy Okay, um, and if it's you, like I said, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Boys and girls, aplenty. Um, I also got Yes. So there's a Yes, okay? Uh, the band Yes and uh, Your Move, I've Seen All Good People. I got Always, Erasure. Um, started out really good. I got a little U2, Sunday, Bloody Sunday. Uh, the war. Okay, so this might even be talking about something about the, you know, it started on 10-7 last year. This, um, you know, Israel and whatever, the holy war things. Um, Kentucky was spotlighted. Seattle was spotlighted. Ohio was spotlighted. Uh, Washington, uh, maybe a little bit of Oregon, Utah, Idaho, California, okay, um, the Psycho Killer, the Talking Heads, and David Byrne, and uh, my friend Dahmer, Jeffrey Dahmer, I'm just telling you, this is not gonna turn out good, and it really doesn't matter, uh, your uh, your sexual preference uh, it doesn't you know because um lust versus love is what's on the table here um also got jack white and meg you know the white stripes which i was like wow this one actually fits really perfectly with my scene here i actually lit a new candle for you aries it is similar the same as i did for the libra birthdays um, it is a black candle that drips red. Uh, right now, you can't see it. You just see the black over there. Um, I have this by Edgar Allan Poe as well. And uh, I opened these up for the uh, Libra birthday with the diary of the wimpy kid. Something about, oh, yes, yes, November. So maybe also some Virgo. I saw it 902, 906, 912. Uh, 922. Okay, the U2, uh, the band. Um, maybe someone's name is Leslie. I don't know. Or Les. Um, and we got Sunday, Bloody Sunday, right? Um, there's also Where the Streets Have No Name. So the name even Joshua or the Joshua Tree. Look at all the trees, okay. The Joshua tree, hmm, very fascinating. Um, did I say Natalie Merchant and Wonder? Um, as well as um, Buffalo, Springfield, and um, there's something happening over here. There's a man with a gun. 
Hmm. Okay. Those are just ramblings. Okay. Like I said, things were starting out really good with always. I want to be by your side and imagination with you. Maybe there's a little Piscean with that. Gemini as well. Okay, Aries. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm trying to think what other song. Yeah, that, that, the White Stripes. So Seven Nation Army and uh, the hardest button to button. Okay. Jack and me in the whites. I don't know, like someone, this could be their names even, but um, I was seeing something like Reservoir Dogs, if you're not familiar with this, everyone had a code name, right? Mr. White, Mr. Red, being spotlighted. Um, I feel like something's gonna like, there's also the one song kind of talks about putting a, a pins in the doll. So a little voodoo, who do you do? You remind me of the babe, what babe? The babe with the power power of hoodoo hoodoo you do remind me of the babe okay that's some david bowie and labyrinth right there okay he's a capricorn um maybe get your journals out <laughs> writing some stuff down i was seeing libra capricorn and, and maybe some virgo uh so libras that are like 925 santi gold i believe is the libra so there's another song less artists artiste what is what I'm searching for to tell it straight? I'm trying to build a wall walking by myself. Time to kill. Uh, yeah, letting th go of certain things. Damn, Aries. Damn it. Okay, <clears throat> with the Libra energy, um, I'm going to be pulling tarot multiple times. This time, I got the Peanuts gang inspiration. Uh, so the friends and, uh, Charlie Brown. Okay. Um, that one's been really lovely as well as, uh, you know, the tarot of course always shows some, some, some stuff what's going down in the energy. Okay. So if it's not for you, don't take it. Okay. Um, I was getting something about the baseball because this definitely brings out the sports and the baseball, uh, and something about who are the Cardinals, I'm not really sure. I'm not a big fan of, uh, I'm, I'm of sports and stuff like that. Um, I'm seeing also like football, college football, but as well as uh, baseball. Take me out to the ball game. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. The jacks. Hmm. Okay, so there's something about that. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, Aries. I'm going to turn the camera over here for a second so you can see. We're going to start over here. Check the description box. That's where I will link in part two as well as part three. We're going to hit into the spirit allies. That one's been very, very beautiful. A lot of connection for me with ancestors and past on loved ones. I brought in different crystals and stones as I've been guided throughout all the different zodiac signs up to uh, you, you guys, okay? So I started with Libra and now we're here. Um, hopefully I'm hoping to be finished by this by 10, 10, 10, 11. So maybe those are also spotlighted days for you guys as well as the 10, 15. The Aries full moon. Okay, you guys, uh, wherever Aries is in your chart, even if you're, so rising sign, moon signs as well, um, is I believe it's gonna be like around 10, 18, 10, 17, right around there. Um, and we'll see what happens during that time, okay? So the first uh, crystal and stone that was spotlighted for the Libras, you can have Libra in your chart or be dealing with them. They are your opposite, so they're pretty spotlighted. Uh, those other signs as well. Um, working with angelite, calm, communication, cleansing, clearing your aura, getting this inspiration, okay? Um, I was even sharing how you can like take this in the bath if you want, if you take your spirit or in the shower for your cleansing, especially if you're very intuitive, because there's like, there's some bitterness and anger that's, uh, coming forth out of my heart <laughs> and it needs to be healed and looked at and cleansed. Okay. Because I'm getting like this Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails song. I feel like someone is a Taurus as well, or they could be Taurus, um, is angry about this, or or they're the ones doing something like this, okay? 
Um, <clears throat> so Trent Reznor and My Violent Heart. We may look the same, but we are very far apart. There's compassion, <laughs> or there's bullet holes where my compassion used to be. All right? You can burn us. Yeah, this is what you get. This is karma coming down. You reap what you sow. You Jezebel and, and nasty dudes out there too. So yeah, if, and on, I guess I'll find out <laughs> if I lose a bunch of subscribers, then I cleared some shit out, didn't I? That's the way I look at it. You're, you've been uninvited. Ooh, okay. Let's just jump into peanuts gang. This was, I've been very excited and happy to be honest, you know, so maybe the messages will be very good, even though I started out with a little bit of so we got some soft blue. Someone has a baby, a son, even. Like in that song, it's like, um, we got a little, you know, we've a little, uh, the hardest button to button, a little house. And we had a son in 1981. We named him Ray Gun, or we got him a Ray Gun. And he had a toothache, right? My, my brains felt like pancake batter. That's what he's saying in there, Jack White and Megan, Meg. Okay, um, I'm going to grab in the middle of here. We have Linus Van Pelt. Well, hello. Linus is Charlie Brown's best buddy. He's also the little brother, right, of Lucy. Um, hello. He's compassionate. Linus, Lynn, Les, whatever. The Vans, even Van is a name. Hmm, okay. Or something about the van, something in a van, or we're talking about like the store van or van. I'm also getting van, so I brought up actually something with the Pisces. Um, watching um, Hillbilly Elegy, which is like uh, the the guy who is uh, running for uh, vice presidency, you know, with Trump. Um, it's like kind of his story and the stuff he had to deal with with a mother and her addictions and. Um, Things like that. <clears throat> and to where he is right now. So I think it's fascinating. Finish watching that with an Aries anyways. Ooh, this one I want to see. Hierophant. Someone broke a commitment or a vow. They broke the law. If you were married, there could have been a divorce. Um, this one, this person. Mm, look, we got Linus in both of them. Maybe it's a little brother of yours even. Or something like that. Or you are the little brother in this dynamic. Huh. Damn, it was just sitting on the top and I, this is what it means to me. So if you were married to someone that is, uh, so I don't, I, I mean, this is what people don't re recognize. Okay. If you want to be in a, a long-term committed relationship, you don't fuck around. You don't be, you don't be messing around with, uh, the skanks and the hoes and, uh, you know, the Instagram girls. And I have to say the funniest thing is there was a time when I, um, I, I was, I actually put that, whether you want to say it was clickbait or not, but man, I put something about Instagram girls on, uh, <laughs> in the title and it was my, I got, and, and I was like, God's trying to save you and protect you. Like I was reading the Bible and that shit too. Like, and it was my hottest, uh, hottest, <laughs> I got the most views on that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we know that it's, uh that's the devil like that's that's the temptation that's gonna uh ruin your happiness okay so keep that in mind someone did like if you were married they might have broke a vow or commitment uh, this is someone who portrayed themselves maybe this could even be someone in a church dynamic i'm gonna say we can talk about things like that or we can see uh, pastors messing around we got stuff like john paul oh and someone's name is paul too or uh jp uh and micah and he he groomed her and uh and then uh she ended up taking her own life uh, i don't know what's going on with that case right now uh but we you know the pope the priest the pastors this is regardless so this is even maybe communicating and speaking to that you know uh jesus said the uh, lusting in your heart is the same as uh adultery the lust in your heart for another person is adultery. So yes, that is fucking cheating. It's emotional cheating. 
it's fantasizing about another person um, that you're in. But, it, you know, if you're single, do whatever you want to do. That's the whole thing. But when you make a take a vow or a commitment, Linus here. So Linus is compassionate about communicating about these things. Yes, this is. And, uh, you know, if you want to fix it, there's a chance. But you might have got, you might have, this could be a divorce that happened. Or this person broke a law. They literally could have broke a law. Marcy. This is also, oh, so Marcy's coming through. Marcy looks a little upside down uh, reading this, this book. Marcy's also a best friend to Peppermint Patty. You know. She's, uh, so these are the ones that's coming through. Well, damn, okay. We're going to get to the, we're going to get to the bottom of this, okay? Okay, okay. Marcy. <sighs> I'm noticing, okay, this person wears red. They like a red coat. A red orange coat or a red shirt. Both of them kind of wearing the same clothing. Uh, I bet you guys kind of really like the, the red colors on or Sagittarius does. Okay, who did Marcy come through with? This is interesting. So something about Halloween. Maybe there will be more clarification with the Halloween Oracle. Maybe it, with the Scorpionic energy when we shift into that. Um, so like I said, check out the description box to link to the uh, other videos for your monthly. We're going to move through this energy. I'm going to first read Linus and Marcy. Um, damn. See, I, I set these up. I, I shuffled these. I cleanse all this for your energy, Aries. Okay. Sunday, bloody Sunday. Linus and Pigpen. Hmm. This is someone also judging, uh, judging by outer appearances and those, uh, I wonder if half of them are even real. Like they're just AI bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not nice when it comes to that. I'm just not. Okay. Okay. I can't. I got no fucking compassion and you will get what you deserve, which ain't going to be a good, your fortune is bad. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen messing with that shit. I, I can predict it by just knowing you're going to end up finding someone who's going to just use you. They don't see you as a, as a, they don't see you as a compatible person um, with love in their heart. They're lusting. They're a lust demon. They literally probably have STDs or, they, or you know, things like that. And, uh, it's always these ladies with their asses in the air. So I'm just saying. Check yourself, ladies. Yeah. You're not welcome. Bye. Linus. <clears throat> Let's see what Linus has to say. He's very, very nice, though. Linus is going to be very compassionate about this. He's going to say, he's going to say what's up, but he's going to do it in the nicest way possible. Okay. He's lying to us though. Linus Van Pelt. <clears throat> the Vans. Oh boy. 13. Wow. 11, 13. So someone could be Scorpio. Um, I also see you could have that in your chart, right? Like I said, rising sign, moon sign. Uh, also Capricorn and Gemini. Someone could only, could actually be a young teenager. And some of that stuff, that's the whole thing you don't understand with some of those websites and things like that. Um, some of these people have not, you know, they're part of this uh, sex worker, sex trafficking stuff. And you're messing with the devil. Is what is. So maybe they're even a Capricorn. I don't know. So if I get the Queen of Wands in reverse, that's most likely going to pop up. It can be anyone. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It's a feminine energy that is got her, showing her ass and her tits off. You know what I mean? Like she's a dog in heat. This bitch in heat. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to put this out there, guys. This one's crazy, okay? Um, hopefully we can move through this, okay? And she could be a Libra. She could be a Scorpio. She could be anything. I got the Taurus here. I feel like, see, Hierophant is Taurus energy telling someone, hey, 
You, this is breaking a commitment, a vow, a law. Man, if someone's breaking the law here, this could be an underager even. Oof. Damn. Sorry, guys. Oh, I'm sorry to have to tell you that. I also see 21. And they could, or they could be barely 18 or barely 21. They could also be um, an Aquarius, Taurus, Aries. So <clears throat> Marcy's on this side here, and we got Linus here. Now, these Peanuts gang are very sweet, right? They're a good crew. And they're being upfront and honest with you. Okay? You can have a Taurus moon or any of those other signs. I'm going to read Marcy first. The kindest in the bunch. Marcy reminds everyone of how sweet people really can be. An absolute brainiac. Marcy is always around to set the curve when she's not cheering people up. Marcy reminds us of all the good we have inside. How we can enjoy inventing, being nice, and cheering up others. She has nothing but respect for her pals, especially for her best friend, Peppermint Patty. Or Sir. Okay, and Peppermint Patty popped in for both Aquarius as well as Piscean energy. Okay? Um, and I was really sensing Aries with that. So that might be interlinking with that. So like I said, you can watch also your rising sign, moon sign for further clarification and guidance. Okay? Um... We can always count on her to teach us how to help others by stating the facts as they are and delivering them with kindness. See, I'm still working on that. From her iconic glasses to sweet tone, we should all aim to be a little more like Marcy. I also got Mark C. Understand? Mark C. M-A-R-C. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> the glasses, this someone clearly can, you know, they wear glasses. This might be a friend of yours. This could represent you. Once again, I forgot to bring this in. I, I, they might be a Capricorn, maybe a Virgo. Um, it doesn't have to be, it can be any sign, but she's reading this yellow book and I have a book that says that's, I might bring it in one of your other videos. I was going to bring it in in a different one, but, um, it's called how not to be a dick <laughs> we might need some of that information how not to be a dick hmm um this was a book like i gave to people for christmas dude maybe there's something about the christmas time as well i i think i call it how not to be an asshole but it's how not to be a dick etiquette okay marcy's trying to help calm the situation all right and maybe she's young i don't know or you are uh, this could just be a friend of yours okay um linus let's go to linus here the 13 one, three. Oh, my sweet babu mm. here comes linus known for his signature security blanket and thumb sucking linus reminds us that no matter how small or young we may seem we can still be the most mature. Oh, damn. So sometimes I'm also seeing the younger people being more mature than some of the older people in this dynamic, ironically. I'm saying something about being a pediatric or working for the in the pediatrics, the blanket. I'm also getting, like, he has his security blanket with him, too. Not here. He's not in the tarot. He does. Um... Dang, I'm getting a little bit of Virgo energy and Taurus potentially, or they could be a younger brother or something like that for you, okay? Or you are, I'm getting a friend and a younger brother popping in, maybe they're only 13 or something about when you were a teenager, okay? Maybe even five, just little, okay? Uh, let's see, Linus is smart, and capable, but not in a pedantic or a bullying way like his big sister, Lucy. Okay, the big sister, Lucy. Sorry, Lucy. Lucy came through with uh, both the Sagittarian energy as well as, I believe it was the Pisces or Aquarius, okay? Um, and that's the big sister. Hmm. That could be you as well. 
um, inner child work. See, this is not for children either. And that's the whole thing. It becomes where it's, it's really sneaky and, and scam baiting and, um, like, like there's like, you're just trying to listen to some or watch some music videos. And then all of a sudden, I'm telling you, when I first started this channel, I had to be, I had to be reporting people nonstop with the fucking trolls. And I really hope that the government goes after these nasty fucking pimps and gigolos. The Buffalo came out again. Buffalo came out a lot with the Pisces and, um, which was interesting. So the, the Buffalo cherry stance, Buffalo stance, right? And that is, what is he like? So there's someone potentially that is like, oh, hey, they're flaunting money or something and they think they can buy you or they, they're like wanting to pimp someone out, okay? This is just not cool. Oh, Snoop Dogg. Dude, with the stuff going on in the world, come on now. Karma will come down upon you. God's gonna cut you down, Johnny Cash. Uh, hmm, go tell that long tongue liar. Uh, this reminds me of Marilyn Manson as well. He sings that song as well, Brian Hughes. Hmm, <clears throat> so his blanket is a safe place, a safe space. And he always has an innate understanding of the world around him. Deep within his heart, he is the best friend with the best advice. And no one could ever take his place. Hug your inner child today or wrap yourself in your blanket. Being outwardly mature isn't all it's cracked up to be when you already understand everything within you and around you. So this is really getting to, this is even healing some inner child stuff. Um, this is even protecting the children. I've always said this from the beginning. My, my mission, I already know, is to protect the children from other children and from disgusting human adults. Okay. That have ill will, uh, in their hearts that are completely sexually deviant. Uh, yeah. So there's something about classy not trashy and you can for if with your person dude that's so different you know intimacy is beautiful let's not turn it into something smutty and uh you know that has no that's not love but it breaks up uh real love actually and good luck finding real love if you out there flaunting yourself like that or that's the type of uh, woman you be looking at regardless of your status your uh, sexual preferences doesn't matter because because see sometimes people often think that especially if you've been broken hearted uh you know you know um i know women that turn uh, lesbian because they've been cheated on a, a bunch or uh and divorced three times trust me your 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 homosexual lover will do the same thing and tell you put your stand up for yourself and do the healing inside you're still going to attract that type of deviant uh partner in your life okay 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 all right i'm gonna set this back that's crazy i was not anticipating that but hey uh that was sitting on the top and I had no clue, right? I just felt guided to grab it. It was kind of sliding as well. And that was exactly what I was seeing. There. Okay. Oh, I'm almost called you Libras. But uh, Aries, Aries, Aries. What does the penis can have for the, the Aries uh, during this Libra season and Scorpio season of October? Uh, this is by Annalise, Annalisa. Yeah, maybe Anna or Lisa is someone's name as well. Annalisa DeVoe, Bill, Babe DeVoe. Someone's name is Beverly or Bev or Bella. Uh, poison. There's this song for you, Bell, Bib DeVoe, Poison. Inspired by the comic strip Peanuts by Charles M. Schultz from out Philadelphia. Uh, okay, maybe they have, oh my gosh, I'm getting like the Tom Hanks show Philadelphia, who was... Uh, uh, you know, 
a homosexual man in this movie, right? I think it's based on a true story, but he got HIV, AIDS, right? It was sick. And then going to court. Okay, we have um, Sally Brown. Tom Hanks. What's up with Tom? So this is the little sister of Charlie Brown. So we have some some young people, littles. She, she And she has the hots for, you know, Linus, who was the little brother of Lucy. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. But she's very into philosophy. So, hey, little sister, what's up? Are uh, you dealing with a little sister? And we got Peppermint Patty. So this is sporty. Yeah, being your authentic, unique self. There, She's walking away. She's looking to the past of something. These are your two. These characters have already come out. I'm telling you, Peppermint Patty, this is the third time. Uh, I feel like it could be, represent you or you or your little sister or you are a little sister or you have one, okay? Um, would you want your little sister doing that? Would you want to watch your little sister being that way? Um, or would you want to protect them? Huh. We have Franklin. This came through as well. So, all right, here we go. <clears throat> These are your people. These are the messages we learn from this Peanuts gang, right? Um, dang. Sally Brown. So we got the Browns and the Whites. These could actually be people's names, middle names, first names. I'm, I'm getting like that Reservoir Dog, Mr. Brown. I'm getting Mr. Brownstone and Axl Rose, Guns N' Roses. That talking about, you know. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to be in the doghouse. Okay, Sally Brown is 15. Okay. And Peppermint Patty is 19. So we got a bunch of young people here potentially. Or this is also Capricorn, the 15th. As well as 1019 could be spotlighted. Uh, where's Franklin here? At the 31. Someone could be 31 or 1031. Scorpionic might be. Franklin came out for another sign as well. Okay. Oh, man. 37 and 30. I'm sorry, guys. That this had to be like, I'm really sorry. Maybe someone's saying they're really sorry about this. I'm seeing something about 2023. Someone could be 23. Marcy even okay so you're different we, we learn messages from this this is a group of friends right um and maybe even neighbors acquaintances people you've known since you were young I get a little bit of a six of cups energy you know uh, or family even uh friends Aquarian energy as well as Gemini Capricorn Sally says the iconic little sister. She is known by her curly blonde bangs. I actually was seeing curly hair, but it was um it was dark hair. Um curly. <laughs> Larry coming through again. Larry, Moe, and Curly, the three stooges. Hmm. The iconic little sister, she is known by her curly blonde bangs, new philosophies, and her mega crush on Linus, referring to Linus as her sweet babu, Babs. Sally is never afraid to show the true desires of her heart and owns up to all the love she has for him. She's creative and caring, though she relies on her big brother from time to time. She thoroughly reminds us that she is a modern lady. She knows what she wants and what she likes and is not naively innocent and trusting. Sally invites us to ask for what we deserve out of life, whether it be restitution from the Great Pumpkin or 10s and 20s from Santa. So some money even. I'm seeing 10, 20 being spotlighted. Um, I feel like this came through for Capricorn or uh, something like that. I'm trying to remember, okay? Um, 10, 15 even. I'm getting the weirdest thing. So there's also Leo energy. I forgot to mention they were spotlighted quite a bit. Um, eight five. I saw it again. This is someone who could be born in eighty five. Um, eight seven. That one came through with the Pisces quite a bit, or eighty seven. Um, or this could be a Leo. 
uh, August 8th, you know, or, oh, okay, August 5th, August 7th. Um, but in this dynamic here, you know what I mean? It's like um, she has a crush on her older brother's best friend. Right? Yeah. Peppermint Patty has a bit of a crush on Charles or, you know, Charlie Brown. And then we've got Franklin. So I'm going to go to Peppermint Patty. Rerun Van Pelt. Ooh, I haven't seen this one. This was one that hasn't come out watching reruns. This is a rerun. You've done this before or something. Van Pelt. This is Linus. Someone could be 37 or dealing with a Pisces 3-7 Gemini Libra as well baby brother hmm okay we're jumping to, to franklin first um i'd have to i can't remember who franklin came through with introduced to charlie brown at the beach so he's someone you met at the beach even franklin is the coolest new kid on the block although he is busy with schoolwork swim practice guitar lessons, and more. He's always a team player and a friend you can truly rely on. Between baseball sessions, Franklin likes to talk to Charlie Brown about things his grandfather, yeah, wow, about things his grandfather has said about life and getting older. His grandfather's quirky insights and philosophies never fail to keep Franklin, Frankie, on his toes. So when you're feeling overwhelmed, take a page from Franklin's book, Frank and Lynn, okay? And make sure to take time and ponder the big questions. Questions like what happens when you retire? Doing grandpa things mostly or looking for things you've misplaced. Hmm, grandpa things. Maybe even someone could be, um, this could even be Pisces, Scorpio person or Gemini Aries. Uh, so maybe your grandfather is coming through or your friend talking about their own grandfather and their philosophies. So I get this other song that's called Faces or something. And it really talks about, uh, ooh, it's ooh la la, the faces. Ooh la la. So um, I'm getting a little French. I'm getting je m'appelle. Hmm. Okay, um... That song really talks about women taking you for all their uh, using lust to take money from you. I don't know. And some of them do. So that's that's shitty, huh? Okay, let's jump into the tarot. <clears throat> I'm going to see. I'm going to grab it in the middle. The sun in reverse. So, yeah. Wow, Lucy. So you could have a little sister. You could be the little sister that's very unhappy about something. This could be dealing with a Leo person. The sun in reverse. You could have Leo on your uh, rising sign, moon sign, or be dealing with them. This is also maybe a child. Someone could have a son. Okay. It could be, it could be a little brother because we've got both. I've got both little brother, little sister. Take out how it resonates. Um, something about the 19th. Someone could be only 19 once again. Okay. Underneath here. Yeah. Feeling very wounded. Like they got to protect themselves from this stuff. They got to block it. This is the wounded warrior, a little, uh, I see 919, even so it could be Virgo. Um, you need to protect this person. Someone feels like they need to put up security gates. So this song by Santi Gold uh, called Less Artists or Less Artists, it really talks about what I'm searching for. I'm trying to build a wall. I don't need to, I don't, didn't come here to meet you, to know you, uh, Anything like that. I left my home to, uh, you know, to get away from that type of stuff. So you can have some other people coming in. We got the baseball, right? Okay. Um, I'm also going to grab, so over here with my little yoga, I don't know if you can see it. I might move the camera up just a tad. Let's see if you can see the, the flame yet. Nah. It's still burning. Okay. I need to spray some rose water, help raise my vibration through this calm communication. Okay, with the angel light over here, the, I have earth and water signs. So if you're dealing with earth or water, we're going to find something out about that. Uh, on there, the reds, Mr. Red, Ace of Pentacles, and Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I want to see this one too. King of Cups. So someone could be very loving, compassionate. 
trying to be masculine water sign person. Okay. Uh, Leo, why well, I say Leo, <laughs> uh, and it can be anyone, you know, trying to be understanding, loving, compassionate, if that someone is sad, or there is some some darkness going on, um, unhappiness, even with a child, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine, I also have the Queen of Pentacles, and someone, and bringing in a gift or an offer, maybe someone's getting a raise or a bonus, or they're going to give you a gift, a present, okay? Uh, little sister. Okay, we have five of cups in reverse, right? And this should hopefully, and maybe they're 15. Maybe you have, uh, you know, someone coming in 19 or 15 being so spotlighted. These are the ages. Uh, helping come out of sadness and depression. Because the sun in reverse is also filling in shadow and darkness. Very sad. Like, she's turned her back on this person you know, walking away. Maybe she's walking towards some darkness. I don't know. Six of Cups. This one's upright. Okay, so is it though? Let me look again. Actually, this might be in reverse. We'll see. 56, 5, 6, Tauruses. Someone could be this age or you're dealing with a Taurus person that's born on the 6th of May. This is someone even from your childhood nostalgia. This is something that could have happened in the past. Uh, this is someone you've known for a long time, family, since you were young, since you were a teenager. These are bad memories from the past. Aquarius was really going through some dark stuff too, it seemed like, or someone in Aquarius' energy. Someone could be 56 now. A 15-year-old and a 56, okay. You know, that could be your own child or a grandchild. I don't know. Uh, King of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So if you are this energy or you're dealing with them and and i'm gonna pull tarot to find out uh we have there there is some compassion or love there coming forth for you jack jack <laughs> for you jack okay uh maybe this is from peppermint patty right there's a romantic offer potentially from this maybe aries aquarius pisces person wow jack jack double jacks jj JJ. It could be a Capricorn or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I keep wanting to say Leo. Maybe they're a child, but the, be patient. They're taking their time. They're bringing you a little gift or something. They might say, hey, let's go out for dinner, lunch. Let's go. Maybe even take me out to the ball game. Oh, we got something under there. What's underneath this, Jack? Be patient. They're coming in quickly. This is about legacy, money, property. They're working hard on this, having a land, legacy, property. They could be a business owner. You could be the business owner. I don't know. It's about your, your home, family. We have King of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah. So over here, definitely uh, dealing with air sign or <laughs> air sign, earth, uh, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, masculine. You could be this person, right? Or be coming off this way, Aries. Um, hmm. They're wealthy. They're very wise with their finances. They could be a business owner. They could already like the CEO of something, right? Wow, we have four of cups and so someone feeling regret, maybe boredom, apathy. Yeah, the fly just popped back in. Okay. Maybe they were a little bored or something. Um, I'm going to flow it through again. Franklin over here. This person, a soulmate. Maybe someone new is entering your life. Uh, a new a new soulmate, a new friend coming into the neighborhood. Hey, won't you be my neighbor, Mr. Rogers? Right. Maybe. Uh, and maybe they're a single person even. Okay. They're financially stable. 29. They could be an Aquarius, a Taurus. Someone could be 29 coming in for you. Okay, um, this is finance. They have extra savings. They're wise with money, right? Ten of cups. Wow. And they're compassionate and love you. And maybe it's a grandfather energy or they're going to tell you about things they learned from their grandfather, right? Maybe about retirement and saving and spending. Like, what are you going to do with that? Ten of cups. Now, I can't read these in upright right now at this time, right? I have eight of cups. Someone's emotionally detaching and walking away from someone. I see maybe they're also a Virgo person. 
um, 9, 10, and 10, 8. So maybe on the 8th of the month, something coming in, Libra season, um, or you could, they could be a Libra or a Virgo, maybe, um, that you're meeting or something in the neighborhood. They're busy. They do a lot of stuff. They have lots of activities and sports and music and swim lessons and you know what I mean? Um, I'm seeing someone emotionally walk away and detach, uh, from this person though. Maybe this is, I'm going to set it up here. We got another one. Yeah. This is someone who's been holding on. I see maybe even letting go 84, 84, a uh, Leo energy, Libra energy, little sister. Um, we got three of cups. This one is upright. So someone wants to celebrate. They're holding on to hope. Like they want a reunion. They want to, they want to celebrate, have a good time. What do you want to do? We want to get loaded. <laughs> we want to get a good time. This person wants a reunion, a reconciliation even. Maybe they're going to come in with a loving offer, romantic. And then, uh, and they want to make things right and fair. 36. So maybe they're a Pisces as well as Aries 4-3. They want to balance things out, even help with the finances. It's going to be a balance, give and take. Okay. In the next readings, I will pull if you're dealing more with the air sign, fire signs. Okay. So I'm kind of taking it with this one. It can be either or because I do have fire here. So you could just have that in your chart. Man. Okay. We're going to move through this Aries. <clears throat> um, all right. So someone felt very wounded. I have one, two, three. Look at that. This is very interesting. This is someone part of your family or your roots even. They could be part of a soul family. Oh, let's see. Who's under Franklin? Snoopy, the world famous astronaut. Look at that. Armstrong. It says shoot for the stars. Go bigger. Okay, um, I am going to just flow this through and see. So we have someone who is very unhappy about something, right? It could be a child even about some of this stuff. This affects children. I'm going to move this over here. Clear these out. These were fun little tiny itty bitty cards uh, that I didn't anticipate using that way. Um, but lo and behold, here they go. All right. I see three of cups. Someone wants to celebrate. Have a good time. I also see six, three. Maybe somebody is 63 or it's a Gemini energy too. Or uh, born in 63. I don't know what, what that would be. We have judgment coming down. Someone wants a second chance. Something about 2019. Maybe this happened in 2019. This is a judgment call, which I also see someone having a wake up call. Like, this is also waking up to the fact that those are not, that's not love energy, right? Um, that someone is in some dark energy or they're unhappy. They could be a Leo, right? A little sister, or you could be this. Judgment for this little sister. Give me a little sister a second chance. Ooh, Ten of Cups in reverse, though. No way. I see 10, 20, something happening. So also this person, Peppermint Patty, someone feels very unsupported. Peppermint Patty talks about being your own unique, authentic self, wearing flip-flops, even in the wintertime, being very sportsy, you know, holding the role. I get this song, Yellow Wolf, by Till It's Gone as well. Because this person also has a lot of finances. Maybe they're not, they don't have family. Maybe they don't feel loved and supported by family. Okay, maybe it's this Aquarius, Aries, Piscean energy or you. Yeah, and someone feeling very wounded. Like uh, they got to protect themselves. They've been, they've been hurt before. The wounded warrior. So 10-9, um, something going on there. This is even uh, eight, going from being 19 to 20 years old, okay? Like a birthday. Maybe someone's turning 20. I don't I don't know. Maybe there is Libra or Scorpio. Um, wow, a lot of 10s. The next 10 is 10 of Wands in reverse. So this is someone laying down this heavy burden, not wanting to deal with um, 
no longer feeling like you have to do it all on your own. You have someone coming in. All right, to help with this. Wow, Aries. Okay, Queen of Spades in reverse. So this person has been very rude, cutting. Uh, they may have been deceptive. It could be dealing with um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is the Lucy, right? I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to move Franklin over here. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to get this. So underneath this, someone who wants a second chance. I'm seeing someone having trying to have a wake-up call, recognize, uh, you know, Someone's been released. They could have done something wrong in the past. This is uh, judgment upright to me is also like um, someone did their time, did their their dues paid. You know, they broke a law, a vow, a commitment, but they're seeing the error in their ways and they're they're being given a chance, like being even released from, you know, uh, from jail. Maybe someone went to jail. Wow, about 1019. 19 10 2. You could be, it could definitely be a Libra person you're dealing with. 1015 was spotlighted as well, right? 1014. <clears throat> I see 10 too. So someone feels like they were a soulmate. This is so empty. They were someone from your family. Maybe they messed with someone from your own family. Even um, mm. the soulmate energy in reverse. Also 210 and 920. So I'm getting Virgo, Aquarian energy and Libra. All right, um, this person now, maybe it has something to do with someone you work with, or this is about work. Someone needs to do this work. Maybe they have to work late at night. I see 820. Is that Leo energy? Yeah, and 810. 819. So focused on work. The money, you know. <laughs> I get some Wu-Tang and cream. Cash rules and everything around me. Hmm. All right. So focus on work. Maybe that's the whole thing. Maybe someone works late at night or they, they don't like their work. Maybe they're unhappy about it. it. It could be someone you work with. Yeah, they're bored. Maybe there's regret and apathy. That's why they finally have, they see the air in their ways. They're, there's regret over this judgment, this little sister energy. Remember, Linus was there at the beginning, too. I see this person wants to work with you, collaborate with you, help you create. This is the whole, do you want to build a snowman? We got Anna and Elsa, right? And Frozen. So I'm very ice cold, right? The threes. Ten, three, four, three. So someone could be 43, or this is you, Aries, four, three. Also see 310, so Pisces or 103 Libra. Collaborating with this person. Maybe they feel like they're there's no they're they don't have family. Literally, maybe they have no support, no family. Maybe they feel like it's all empty. All these cups are empty. <clears throat> Someone's tired of doing it all on their own. And um I'm seeing someone lay down this heavy burden and let things go. This has to do with maybe children. Maybe someone got stopped. Because there's children involved. You see what I'm saying? This is the page of pentacles. Someone could have an earth sign child. Um, maybe they were bringing a child to work. Or they wanted something about this. I'm seeing someone stop doing the work even. I'm, I'm like no longer feeling like a heavy burden. It's like something. This is getting. This is stagnant. Someone being stopped. An earth sign. They didn't have the strength. The willpower. So I'm pulling a lot of Leo with this uh, air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, feminine. Not having the strength to do it. Um, feeling like they don't have willpower to hold themselves back from. Uh, this person could be very rude and cutting. because, And maybe it is because they feel hurt. Or they've been lied to. Or they've been deceived. Like they are the deceiver even. Very specific, okay? Very specific. Where we have the soulmate in reverse. 2-2. Two, 8-2. Two, two. Leo. Or Aquarius. Or they're 22. They could have been juggling. This is multitasking and juggling people. 
all for all about money. Over here is all about money. 32 and 22. 82. 29. Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, I told you. They they think this is this is their work. Oh, you understand now. I told you they a sex worker. And the music, so that's the thing. I'm I'm not going to tell you who it is or anything like that, but I was literally just like listening to music, uh, jamming, having a good time, watching different music videos, and then pop in, and lo and behold, that's why it's clickbait because every single every single picture is a pornography, feminine, lust demon uh, person. Um, and they're, so that's why it's really deceptive as well, because um, it's just like you're you're listening to music or finding music videos, and the the pictures are pornog pornography, yeah. Whether you want to call it soft porn, whatever, it's just it's scandalous person who wants to be seen. And there, this is their work. This is this person's work. They're a sex worker. And uh, maybe they're a Leo or it's about a little sister. They're doing this in the darkness. They do this late at night. And it could have been someone that you met from the beach. I don't know. Lynn Franklin. Oh my gosh. I do know though. Ah, they want attention. So they're an attention whore. And this is how they think they make money by flaunting their cooch. And their tits and ass. I mean, maybe there's some dudes doing it, right? Right? But it's the queen of wands here, okay? And, okay, like I said, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay? If it's not you, it's not you. We all have to deal with this. They have air, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. But I'm getting a lot of Leo with this, which makes sense. Whoa, no way. And then we got the fool. So someone is a fool. They're they're a baby. They're they're uh, an idiot. I'm sorry, Leo. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aries. Okay, we got to do this hope of auto prayer uh, at some point to try and heal these types of things. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing someone was being foolish. They wanted some new beginning. They jumped into, They maybe they were trying something new. Uh, it could have been a, a younger person, right? A 20-year-old, um, 43. And then you got a 43-year-old watching this 20-year-old, okay? And then you got a 48-year-old who didn't have the strength to hold himself back. 82, born in 82. Um, 40, someone could be 40. I'm seeing the fool here. This is supposed to be a new beginning. This is jumping into the unknown because someone was bored. They could even say that. Oh, I was bored. I, I was. I didn't just want to do work a nine to five job and actually, you know, uh, they want, maybe they're a dancer, or a stripper, or a webcam person, or something like this. I don't know, uh, but or they're literally a prostitute. Um, but this judgment is about getting a second chance. Maybe this is someone, uh, something, okay. I just got to say it's something that someone else, someone did. And when they were in their younger years, right. Um, and so you do always, you always can change your life direction, you know? Um, and so that's the warning too. Like you, you need it. This isn't, this isn't a safe place. You're gonna. Do you know how many people get murdered and and uh, raped and uh, doing these types of things? Okay. That that's why it, it's called a high. Uh, what's the word? Uh, I can't remember. Like. They could have some Virgo in their chart too. Aries Virgo. Um, it's a, I know what is this word called? <laughs> a lifestyle that's very highly uh, mm -hmm. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's deadly. 
So it's it's more than that. All right. The fool is wanting a new beginning. Once again, we have judgment there and the fool. Wanting a leap of faith into something new. Um, a new, trying something new. A new creative outlet. Working with something. This person felt like they didn't have... I'm seeing someone being getting let go of, though. No longer sticking around uh, this person. I feel like this is... And it could have been someone in your family... Okay, or um, they felt very unsupported by family. And uh, so the family doesn't support this. Maybe they didn't have any family and they had no other options. I don't know. I don't know. You always have choices and options. Let me just tell you, you know, when I was younger, when I was 19, 18, <laughs> I was making some fucking sandwiches in a sandwich shop. Okay. And I definitely had people trying to get me to uh, go be a dancer and make extra money. I, one of the girls I worked with, like, yeah, we, it's not even a full nude. I'm like, I don't care. I do not, I can't stand to have people look at me like that. Being a sensitive person and being able to like sense, ooh, ooh, ooh. And maybe it's also because of, uh, you know, an essay that happened when I was young. So why would I ever place myself in a situation like that? So I don't understand this. And as a woman, and as a woman who has daughters, I don't respect or appreciate femmes like that. And uh, no compassion for me, from me. You, you made your bed, now lie in it. So... There's also the show on Netflix about, oh, my stalker. I'm like, of course you got a stalker. What are you doing? What, that's what you wanted. Duh. Oh, no. Oh, maybe have some fucking class and stop showing your ass to get seen. I'm not nice. I'm not. I'm a queen of swords and I'm going to cut you. <laughs> maybe that's the whole thing. You want the ace of spades? You want the truth? Well, the truth hurts, I guess. Okay, the true emotions coming forth for sure at the moon cycle, at that Aries full moon. This could be dealing with someone has an Aries moon as well. Okay, with a Leo. They could be a Leo Aries. They could have lots of fire energy. Okay, this is also the Piscean and Cancer sign. I'm seeing maybe even vice versa, a Leo moon. It's very specific. Or an Aries Leo moon with the air quality. Okay? Queen of Cups coming up right. Communicating. Trying to have compassion. Lucy, right? Singing. Hold yourself back. Get some strength and willpower. So you could be also dealing with this Pisces feminine, okay? Or a Cancer sign feminine, you could be this way. Hmm. They're just immature and stupid. Yeah, well, I want to protect the children. You know, I've seen enough. You get women who are guilty of doing bad things to children as well. Okay? That are groomers. You got that one with the Harvey Weinstein, whatever her name is. And, and the same thing. And they don't love you. Like, they're not, like, that's the whole thing. It's vice versa. You're each, uh, that's the the one in the, the gold digging sugar daddy. They don't love. They just want your money. It's all for money. Because it's the work. And this woman is not willing to do the work. Like, actual real work and be a part of society, okay? Uh, Aries. This I and, and I gotta say this is this could be someone in your family that's dealing with this or this is you. Um, you could actually have I I actually this is this could be even a cousin, okay, <clears throat> or a cousin's daughter, a neighbor, a neighbor's daughter. There's a little Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio fan. It could be one of her one of her children or her granddaughters. They have Aries in their chart. Or they're saying someone's being foolish. 
Someone wants a second chance. They want, you know, they want the past in the past. This is, you're not going to be victorious. This is what she's saying. This person who's juggling this soulmate for money. If you are a masculine person and your, your lady does this, you're a pimp. Straight up. Actually, there is this Aries reader, and I remember her saying something like, I want to meet a, a gigolo or a pimp. That would be interesting. And I'm like, well, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's foolish. F -f -f foolish. Yeah, this person will not win. They will not be victorious. Uh, they've been juggling. This is trying to multitask this soulmate. This is not your soulmate. Um, they may be even portraying themselves. They could even try and be like, this is, I'm your soulmate. You got the, the little girl there again. We got Sally and Linus in reverse. This is even someone being weird with one of your siblings. Like you have a friend. Oh. Aries, if you have a sibling or something, you know, like, uh. Your friend messing with one of your family members. Okay. Yeah. King of Wands is upright. Okay. This is good. Let's see this. So King of Wands is upright. Charlie Brown's like, what is this? Maybe he, I don't know. But I am setting it right here with this Queen of Wands in reverse in the work. This could have... This person could come in to the work, if where you work or something. She could be very promiscuous at, at work, wearing provocative clothing, being very flirtatious, controlling. Look at me, look at me. Leo energy or a child even. They're in some dark energy. King of Wands is upright. Trying to take action. Aries. Okay, that could be you if they're masculine towards a, what real love is. Maybe someone wants a new beginning and they want a second chance with love. Because we do have the lovers here. Once again, and you see, she's like, they feel like a fool in love or a fool in the rain. Maybe someone feels like they're foolish for letting some, or someone saying you're foolish for letting this person back in your life. But there's a lover here. This represents also the Gemini energy. I'm seeing someone gets let go. They get kicked out. Someone could have been kicked out of their family. Like, because you have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Hangman in reverse, and the Five of Pentacles. So they could have had a huge loss. Um, their family is very unsupportive of this. I mean, um, it could have to do with sports, sporting events, being a cheerleader. I don't know. Sporty. Aquarius, Aries. Pisces, Virgo energy. Let's see, what do I got here now? Six, nine. Oh, wow. Gemini. Or you know what I mean. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 6, 12. I also see 12, 9. So a little Sag, too, as well as 12, 6. Okay, we have 6, 5 now, Gemini. So it could be 65, as well as 6, 6, Geminis, and 6, 9 again. So someone is getting kicked out or a lot. They, they've been kicked out of their home for, for choosing to live this lifestyle. Or maybe they have no family, no love, no support. The true emotions coming forth. There are children involved or they're, they feel very innocent. The children, do, and that's why this is a problem. I'm seeing there's still unconditional love with this. You could have a Pisces or a, a Cancer a child, um, but there is some love, the unconditional love even. Someone wants to lay down this heavy burden. This has been a heavy burden. Someone maybe wants forgiveness. I don't know. I'm just, I mean, the children are feel very innocent in this. They're very innocent. Okay. Someone was looking at their, no, we, yeah, someone was looking at their options. Someone was treating someone like they were an option. And that's the same thing, Queen of Cups, saying that's what was going on. You see, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone didn't have the willpower or strength to hold themselves back. They could have been very rude and cutting, or they're deceptive. They're a manipulator. 
They're a liar. Yeah, they were looking at their options. Maybe they're a Gemini, feminine even. I don't know. I see six, seven. Someone's looking at all their options. There's some illusion. that This isn't real even. That's the whole thing. This is probably not even real. Like, the, the <laughs> a lot of the pictures could be even AI, okay? Or, um, or they filter things out, you know? I'm not a fan, trust me. 76, 76. 77 now. So someone could be born in 77. I'm getting a lot of this is a cancer sign feminine potentially for you communicating this. You're not going to be victorious over coming, you know, the, with this soulmate. Um, and you need to be patient though and do the fucking work. This is about someone who is uh, greedy and um, <laughs> They're like, they want quick fix. They want quick money. Five, seven, Taurus, 57, as well as seven, seven. It's about your investments. You reap what you sow. Okay. Yeah. Someone's waiting patiently. This is, uh, the ball is in someone else's field at this time. The ball is in someone else's court. He's waiting for the ball to come back. Like, uh, your move, your move, yes, Franklin, frankly, I've had enough of this, Frankie, <laughs> ace of spades, some truth, someone wants a second chance, judgment coming down, there is love, there's lovers, energy, I also see uh, 36, someone could be 36, or you don't have the Pisces, 37, what else we got here? 31, someone could be young, 31. It's going to happen during that time when someone was 37 or 31. I don't know. Or on the 31st, maybe Pisces as well. The truth is coming forth. Someone that someone is trying to, they've had a wake up call that this is not okay. They want a new beginning. Maybe they want, maybe they're bored and they want new love. I mean, I'm just saying that you got the fool, Aries. So uh, that is your card. Aries, Gemini. Some truth, the 31, maybe Pisces. I'm also seeing the 15. Maybe someone got kicked out when they were 15 or they were doing this. Maybe they're only a 15-year-old, okay? Oopsie. One five or a Capricorn. Or the 15th, I see 315. Um, I'm also getting passed on loved ones. Your mother, your mama know what you're doing, or your grandma, they see you now. Five nine, Taurus, or someone's 59 or born. Ooh, they're, yeah. Ten of Pentacles are reversed. This person is losing it all. This could be, wow, I don't know why. So, Peppermint, this is, has to do with the sports. Right? And being your own unique self. 510. 110. Capricorn. A lot of earth sign. And 10-9. So something happened during that time. They're losing. They, they, they've lost. They've been cut out of the will. The legacy. They have no land. No property. No business. No family. No love. No support. Should, we, should they have unconditional love for someone who chooses to be that way? Maybe they're saying, that's why I had no options. Well, if you got no place to live, then, I mean, you got no property. You will have nothing. This is a huge loss, double time. So at one point, someone gets kicked out. And then they even, like, get, they, ha they have nothing. They're very selfish as well. Maybe someone is thinking someone has lots of, of money or property or something like that. They're getting scammed. The cherry, they don't even have a fucking car. They don't even have a car. They can't move. There, there's no trips, no travel happening. This is taking away from children. They could have children, like they leave at home. They're like, I got to do this for my children. No, be a good example. Be a role model. This person feels trapped and stuck, though. They can't drive. They can't go anywhere. They have no car. This may be a cancer sign. 10-9 being spotlighted again. 7-7-7. No way. 
No way. 37 again. Someone could be 37 or 37. This is when it happened. Maybe Pisces or 31 once again. So we have seven. Someone can't go anywhere. They can't move. They can't travel. They've been stopped. A cancer sign. Uh, they're looking at their options. And they're being deceptive and lying about it, saying that they're not. And they're looking at someone's their finances or their work. 777. Seven, seven. This is jackpot. Good luck. Seeing 777. Seven, seven. Maybe you're seeing that a lot. The world, yes. So this is going to be completed. With the, This cycle is going to be done with this Fem 321. Aries. 721. Leo's. On the 21st, someone could be 21 even, barely 21. Um, the world, this is a completion of this cycle. The world, a whole new chapter in life, right? Jumping into something brand new. And maybe this was something from the past, I don't know, or this was someone you dealt with. Or this is something you used to do, I don't know. And if this isn't for you, it's not for you, let it be. Uh, Ace of Cups is in reverse. The truth is, that's not love. The truth is that's not love. That's being a fool, Aries. This person needs to work on self-love. That's actually lack of self-love. People are confused with that too. They seem to think that that's my, I am so confident. Don't be jealous. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Just me. That's not love. That's not love. That's the truth. That's not love. 121, 110, Capricorns, Knight of Wands in reverse. Someone gets stopped from being like this, a feminine or a masculine person. And they lose it all. You lose. They lose. Whoever be doing that, they lose. 1-9, Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn out there doing that too. I don't know. Yeah, they made their, their bed. Now they got to sleep in it. This is also made a choice. The, uh, maybe they, they can't drive like, um, like they don't have a, uh, they don't even have a driver's license or they get stopped from moving towards you. Something happened in the car. They do this in the car. Maybe they live in a car. I don't know. Um, they got to take their car taken away. They don't even have a car. 27, two, seven. Also seeing that the action they took is this is their karmic stuff 221 and 27 um they're not someone's looking at options of where to move though they're looking at your house if you have a home that's what they're looking at 74 so cancer sign too she even saying this person looking at their options this person could be in an illusion uh, pisces cancer scorpionic a lot of I'm not getting so much Scorpio, ironically. Um, it could be whatever, though, feminine. Temperance in reverse. Someone's overdone it. They've overspent, overindulged. This could definitely be a Sagittarius person. Doesn't have to be. They don't, they're not wise. They could be 24, 2, 4. What else we got here? 14, 414 Aries. I also saw 416 and 47. Okay. 74 or 47. So something about even the 4th of July. 74 and 24. And seeing things like this. So this is being patient. Right? This is what you you invest your time, your money in. Um Someone that is very impatient, they could overspend, they could overindulge, they are hedonistic pleasure seekers, they don't have to be a Sag, but they could be, a ma I mean, they get stopped. They could have overindulged and like had DUIs or uh, things like that. They A lot of times there's drugs involved with people like that. So the, the world here, this is the completion with that and there's going to be celebration Someone is celebrating this, uh, this completion, this whole new world, a new book, maybe even a reunion with this person, 
you know, I'll see 321 again and 31. So real spotlighted. King of Spades and Queen of Spades in reverse. So yeah, even if they're, they're the way they're speaking, there's deception, lies, cheating, um, gaslighting. They could curse and cuss someone out. They could really be scandalous. King and Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's not love. That's lust. Maybe they're pissed off because someone's getting a second chance or about this judgment call. Someone waking up. The tower in reverse shows that this is recognizing red flags before they come burn the shit down, right? Burning down the house. David Byrne and talking heads. Hmm. Careful what you wish for. Ooh, I can't believe this. Right in the center of this is a king and a queen of swords in reverse. Okay, Aries. You got to take it how it resonates. The tower in reverse shows that this person stopped being this way before shit hits the fan. Right? Or this person who's non-committal, who runs around. Somebody, this could, someone could get, you know, an unwanted pregnancies, STDs, if they are out there doing that. Hierophant, wow. And once again, because they broke a vow, a law, a commitment, um, they could go to jail for what they're doing. Or they're non-committal, right? Don't be with this person. Don't mess with these type of people. This person could be like the pimp or the gigolo, or they're they're a male prostitute, a male hooker. Nice first say. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Wow, so that's the first thing I've got going on here for you. 126 could be spotlighted. Wow, they could be a Libra. They could be a Gemini. There's a lot of Leo involved with that too, but there's also Aries, okay? They could be another Aries. They could be a, a Sagittarius. I'm seeing a lot of Leo though. Taurus in reverse. They could also be a Taurus who did this. They could be someone from your church or they could act really churchy. They're non-committal. They're all about law breaking. Aries. It actually makes me think of this song, The Outsiders by Tool. No, it's Perfect Circle. The video is all scandalous. Like the girl gets out of jail and uh, just basically strips into just her bikini, her and her friends, and they go out like vandalizing, running around in bikinis. Yay! And so a lot of times the male people are like, oh, just, they're more compassionate to these hoes than the hoes are. I mean, <laughs> the, I, they're like, oh, we don't want you to stop. It's not a gentleman's club. It's a scandalous perverts club. And I will always, always stand up against that. Okay. So. Um, that's my morals, my values, my standards. And if you don't want, you know, you can live your life, but stay the fuck out of mine. And I don't care who you are. If you're a, a relative, you're a stranger. Hmm. You fuck around, fuck around and find out. That's what Aries say. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> Maybe I'll want to watch some Aries, uh, Tyler's tarot. He likes to say that. I haven't watched him for a while. There's another beautiful Aries feminine. Oh, what's her name? It's it's a really unique name. I haven't watched that for a while. I should find her. I'm all, I should find her. She's fun. Anyways, um, it starts with an A. I can't think of her name though. Anna, Anna, Anna Jo. No. Yeah, it's it's a really unique, beautiful name. Anyways, I don't know. Maybe you guys watch her. But these are Aries. Uh, I know that they are Aries readers, tarot readers, and uh, on on YouTube. Okay. Um. Wow. So that's it with this. Let's see. So someone someone needs to protect themselves. They feel wounded. Like uh, this person feels like they're very unsupported. Maybe these. Maybe people like this were, maybe your whole family was like this. And, and, you know, you're like, I need to get out of this. I don't know. You know, uh, I'm saying putting up the walls, putting up uh, home security, having weapons, 
I'm all weapons of mass destruction, uh, stun guns, mace, you know, weapons. This is about protecting yourself. Linus, the little brother, even protecting the little brother. Little brother feels a little like he got to protect himself from this, from this person. And it may be from someone who's overindulging. It may be from a Sagittarius person. He's looking to the future. This is good. And this is the past. Okay. So maybe this is all stuff from the past that needed to be spoken of. High Priestess is there. Lovely. Okay. So someone intuitively knows this. I see Tess, Tessa, uh, 2 2, 3 2, Pisces, um, 23 and 32. No way. We, I love a lot of 32. So 3 2, Pisces for me, I share that. This is my grandmother watching over seeing this so you you understand even your grandma knows what you're doing if you're out there being a skank or a player masculine or feminine okay my grandma used to be like <laughs> when i was younger she'd be like when you're in a situation i just want you to stop and say what would grandma think grandma watching over you Okay, so maybe someone is upset, actually, because someone's receiving a gift. This is a, a gift, a present, something coming in the mail. They're getting a second chance. Okay. Um, wow, but we do have nine of pentacles in reverse. So someone was not single. Someone is not financially. Like, they've lost it all. Yeah, someone has been, they've been holding on, really greedy. They need to be saving because they don't have any extra. Okay? This tower, they're trying to hold off on a tower uh, moment because they uh, are codependent financially uh, on someone else. One nine Capricorn. 2-1 Aquarius. Uh, yeah, this person is holding on to the finances, saving. Someone is pissed about this, you see? This person is gossiping, talking shit. You have someone spying and stalking, looking at their options, thinking someone's an option. I see 1-5 again, Capricorn or 15. Someone looking at that. Like, what you doing? What you doing looking at those miners? Ah. Oh, little Kendrick Lamar popping in and not like us, huh? Drake, he's Scorpio. We got the Sean and the Puff Daddy shit, all that. We burning, burning down the house. <laughs> uh, 24, someone 25, 22. A decision was made to hold on to this, to save it, save the money. High Priestess knows holding on to something, saving the money. This is all about money. See, and where we have someone broke a law, a vow, a commitment, they be talking shit. They be gossiping. You have an air sign there in reverse. They broke a law, a commitment, a, a contract. This could even be someone, like I said, they act very churchy. Or you were married to them or committed to them. Um, this is talking shit. Spying on you and then talking shit. And saying someone else is crazy or that you never did that. Or or maybe, you know, I'm seeing, once again, feeling like you got to protect yourself from this person even. 9, 10, 4, 9, 9, 9. A lot of Virgo too. Will of Fortune there. So there is good karma on the way. This is the right timing. This is about divine timing as well with this. Right? 9, 10. This is a karmic person. This is the right timing for all of this to be revealed. 2, 10. And 9, 9. All right. So good karma, good fortune is going to be on its way for sharing this. Marcy is here, right? Reading about it. Mark C. Charlie's getting knocked on his ass here. Clunk. Lucy's feeling a little stuck and trapped now. 10-8. The magician is upright. I see 2-8 as well. Aquarian energy. Uh, the magician here as well. 1-1-8-1. One, one, one. Trying to create and manifest something wonderful. Okay, this is good. 
this is someone coming out. Maybe someone doesn't want to work these late nights or something or uh, trying to come out of anxiety and fear regarding this. 999 and 19 or 19 again. Right? I'm feeling like um, someone's very codependent or they weren't single. I'm just saying, or a huge loss. If someone's full of anxiety and fear of losing a job, losing support and love and family. Um, wow. Someone's holding on to hope even. Someone's holding on to some finances. This person hasn't changed though. They haven't transformed it could be Scorpio or Leo, I also see. So we got 84, 84, as well as 813. They haven't changed. They haven't transformed. They're still stalking you. They're still spying on you. They're still gossiping. A lawbreaker. King and Queen of Cups both upright in this. So this is lovely. There is love and compassion. Maybe this is a Scorpio because... Um, they're, they're just reminding you, like, hey, this person hasn't changed. I'm still here. You know, like, maybe this is someone who didn't pass already or something. I don't know. No, they haven't. They're still doing it, Aries. So uh, this could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, giving compassion, love, understanding. Very intuitive, not overindulging. I, I do see that maybe there was a time that someone was wishing, you know, death upon someone else because they're in such low energy. Um, someone felt really stuck and trapped, like they had no other options or that's what they're trying to say. It, it was, the people want to justify their behaviors. Um, I, I didn't have any other options. Oh, yes, you fucking did. There's always another option. Unless they drugged you and kidnapped you, you had options. Okay. Um, wow. He's saying, you know, King of Cups being compassionate, understanding, loving about this, right? Um... But all of this, there is. this is about divine timing. All these things will be revealed. 9-9, uh, um, nine, nine, yeah, nine, ten. maybe you found this out during that time or it's a Virgo energy as well as Leo. Okay, I'm seeing everything will be balanced out. The karmic debt will be paid. They're going to handle all of this like, at Easter, something about Easter time, Aries. Maybe you have birthdays. Um, 10, 6, 9, 6. Little Virgo, Libra. This is doing what's fair. Everyone be, all the debts will be paid. Okay. And to trust that this person's devil. They're trapped. They, they've caught themselves in a devil energy. They're bound to something toxic, lust, a lust demon, addictions. They're doing it because they probably have addictions. They might be huffers. They don't know. They huff gas, huff paint. I don't know. Or do heroin, something like that. They got to pay the bills for their devil ways, their devil addictions. There could be a little bit of Capricorn with this. 815 Leo. I'm getting a lot of Leo. Or 15 being 15. 15 Capricorn. And 13. Someone been messing around with youngs. Just so not that that not gonna fly. Not gonna fly. Yeah. Someone needs to learn some information before they take any action. Okay. So someone is trying to manifest and create something wonderful. Actually trying to create someone coming out of anxiety and fear over this. So you might have dealt with someone who uh or you could have family that this was like their their fucking career path choice, even. Um, and you don't want no part of it. Or they were your family was even doing that to you when you were a teenager. Ew. Bad mom, bad dad. I don't see Emperor Empress here yet. I see Page of Wands being stopped, you know. Take it slow before you jump in and try something new. Um, King of Pentacles is upright. This is good. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. 
maybe giving you some guidance about uh, your finances and money, especially if someone feels like they have nothing. You know, <laughs> you don't have to do this at the... And, and so to help someone get out of fear and finance, uh, you know, fear, anxiety, nightmares about this. So that, yeah, this person needs healing. Maybe there is someone that's actually in the hospital or something, but they haven't transformed. This person needs to, to heal. They have, they have some, some shit. They got some devils to work out. The devil and death. Wow. Scorpio Capricorn, 413 and 415. All right. Yeah, this was definitely a third party energy. That's why there was someone broke a vow or commitment. Uh, I see 43 again. Maybe there were 43 or you are or that's your birthday. I'm seeing King of Cups being loving, understanding and compassionate about this breach in contract commitment, the way this this feminine was speaking or treating someone lying, king or queen, actually. Uh, this is someone trying to help with healing heartbreak. This heartbreak is being healed. Everything will be fair and balanced out. 36, someone could be that age or dealing with a Pisces. That could be a Pisces, 3-6 coming through. Knight of Spades, right? They weren't honest. They were cruel with their words. There was slander and gossip. Maybe someone made these stories up about you or something. Uh, or I don't know. Someone saying that they paid the, they paid the bills. I got the skills to pay the bills. This is how I pay my bills. Ooh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but I'm also seeing like this is being dishonest and very rude and cutting. They will reap what they, you know. Yeah, I'm saying block communication. You're not communicating with this person. That's the message here is eight of wands in reverse, 815 again, 84. So maybe it is with a Leo person. I don't know. Um, everything is, they're getting stopped. They have addiction issues. They feel stuck and trapped. There's that lust demon devil energy. Um, block them. Do not communicate with them. Maybe you don't anymore. Or they have one five knight of pentacles in reverse once again a page of wands so there is some pause in this someone really needs to take their time with what they want careful what you wish for right and to be hopeful and optimistic about the future okay 817 Ace of Wands in reverse. This person has lost their passion. Something's going to happen to their sex organs. <laughs> oh, Lord. The Empress. They could have been a wife or a mother or the boss lady. They, they've lost their passion. They, ha they have no drive. They have no more. Uh, their wand broke. <laughs> Don't break your wand off. So I've been holding and waiting. Maybe needing to save money up for this uh, something. 8, 1, 81, and 84. 1, 3. Once again, someone going to break someone's wand off. Maybe someone's going to get... If there was something that was doing with minors, I'm just saying. Maybe... Um, what is this called? Chemical castration. Mm -mm -mm. Dude, I don't know, Aries. Why? <laughs> I, I really hope the Peanuts gang would give us, you know, some fun, inspiration. But damn, it had to go there. This is definitely a feminine. It could have been a mother, okay? Or a wife. Uh, or, you know, she probably had children. She has children. She's a bad mom. She's not taking care of her children. She's a 13-year-old or 1-3. Again, 1-3. Maybe they're a Capricorn. 3-3. Three, three. Empress in reverse. See, and she's lying, deceptive, rude, cutting. The emperor, wow, emperor, empress. So yeah, the boss, masculine person. Whoa, boom, boom. Yeah, he's being celebrated. 
Okay, so I gotta say it. So the the husband or the father, the patriarch in this, uh, is is a benevolent leader. People trust him. They go for guidance to protect, to protect the children, protect the people. Okay, that could be you, masculines, or dealing with your father or a boss or your husband. Okay. Um, Maybe this just is an ex person or this is literally a mother or, you know, this is something, this is a feminine who has children that, um, or maybe she has, you know, aborted them, <laughs> abandoned them, uh, because she created them out of lust and love. Okay. She's a lust demon. Um, eight before, uh, 58, this person wants to fight you. Uh, they feel like your competition. Maybe this is the whole thing of why they do that. Like they feel like they, they can try and, um, control you with lust or compete with you. If you're in a relationship, you know, this femme person, this queen of wands, now they're angry. I'm getting 85 again. <clears throat> oh, boy. Whether they recognize or not. Queen of Pentacles. They're, yeah, they're a gold digger. And they see you as competition. Some of you, it says it is a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn. Okay? They're getting stopped. They don't have any finances, any money. Right? And that's why they're saying, I got to do what I got to do. Oh, let's see. 517. 517. Wow. Five, three, five, five. Oh, wow. They're sad, depressed about this. They're not optimistic. They're not hopeful for the future. They got no money. And yeah, it's sad and depressing to hear about this feminines doing this or broken marriages and relationship and abandoned children because of promiscuous promiscuous bitches and dicks and perverts so yeah you big group out of there that just love nothing but lusting and, and drugs sex drugs and uh rock and roll uh learn the lesson better life next time okay there's love on its way though and it's not about lust someone wants to come in and be compassionate and loving romantic even um, yeah, there's, this is complete ending. This is the backstabbing betrayer. It's over. You got three of swords and 10 of swords in the same place with the empress in reverse, queen of pentacles in reverse. So you guys have to take it how it resonates. Okay, Aries. I don't know who this is for you, but this is a betrayer, a gold digger, a backstabber, a promiscuous person, a third party potentially, or they had a third party. They was looking at their options. But both of these in reverse shows this is being completed. This is being healed. And you no longer have to deal with this, this person. So, uh, you know, putting up your boundaries. This is also are you, what you're willing to fight for. Don't let this person get you, you know, this stuff can set someone off to want to go actually cause physical harm uh, to some of these people that do this, that live this lifestyle. That's, that's the devil energy, 100%. Addiction, bondage, lust, greed. Seven deadly sins, babe. All right, 10-4 and 5-10 and 5-4. So um, someone could be 54, you could be 5-5, 55. Once again, I'm seeing big, huge changes. This could definitely be a Taurus person, okay? Yeah, seven of swords in reverse. So they were lying, cheating, stealing, and but you find out. Five, seven, 57, 10, seven. Maybe you're going to find out tomorrow. I'm doing it on the seventh, but the truth is coming forth. That someone was a sneaky liar. Look at all these. They were backstabbing, betrayer, trying to cause chaos in your life and your relationships. So on, it's depressing though. 
you know, 5'7 Taurus or 57. I also see Virgo there. Someone could be a Virgo. I see 9'5 five or 5'9 five again. Someone needs to be isolated <laughs> and uh, detach themselves from the worldly view, the worldly shit. This person's an attention whore. They may be put in like solitary confinement or I need, I need protection. Um, <laughs> wear protection. <coughs> um, um, what do I got here? Nine, five. Yeah. Um, I'm saying someone needs to gain this enlightenment by detaching from others, getting off online stuff. Um, they may feel like they need to be in like, uh, witness security. I don't know. From this person. This, this could be a Virgo that's this gold digger for some of you. 9-5 again, specific. 9-10, 9-7, 9-6 even. Wow. They're, they're stuck. They can't move. They're stuck in their thoughts over these things, over what they did. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, six nine even. What you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Um, what else do we got? Nine ten. Yeah, something about that. Maybe something happened in that time, or it, it is specifically dealing with a Virgo in that one. And you got to take it out resonates. I will just tell you. I give you specific dates, times. If you know it, you know it. If not, it's not for you. It's for a different Aries. Check your rising sign, your moon sign. Okay, for further clarification and guidance. This is just your first video as well. Okay, we're going to get the tarot in the second video and Halloween Oracle and the Spirit Alley. So I highly recommend listening to the third video for sure. Um, they have beautiful, optimistic, loving energy uh, with your Spirit Allies, right? Um, yeah, this is something, this is something from that you've had some weird karmic tie to, or something, this is a person you've known since you were young, or you've dealt with this person, uh, this is bad memories, past life, or even this life, childhood trauma, someone could have been hurt like this as a child, okay, wow. And someone is stuck in their thoughts. They are stuck in depression. Someone needs some healing from some past life stuff, you know, or some childhood traumas, depression, anxiety, PTSD. That's fallen by the Aquarius energy again, or this Peppermint Patty character. Okay. Um, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces. Like I said, five, seven. What do we got here? 6-6, six, six. someone could be 66, or Gemini, 6-6, six, 5-6. Six, six. Wow, we have 6-6. Six, six. Knight of Cups, though, someone trying to be compassionate, loving, and maybe someone's trying to come in with and be all romantic. But I'm also seeing, you know, be wise. Maybe you blocked them. Maybe they're trying to defend you. But I'm seeing maybe blocking this person coming in, trying to be uh, love-bombing. And they could be a Virgo. Let's see, what else do I got? A Scorpio, 11-7. I'm also seeing 7-10, Cancer sign. Let's see where we got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, emotionally detaching and walking away from this type of bullshit, 78 and 8-10, 10-8, This is a completion, so walking away, emotionally detaching, so that you're not feeling all this betrayal and all this hurt and all the thoughts and all the communication, all the things that were spoken and said by this empress. Whether this be a mother or a wife or a boss lady, that's a feminine lady, okay? Maybe it's even a grandmother, I don't know. Or it's just, it's just in a third party energy. Um, wow. So I'm seeing once you know this truth, once they are caught, you find out the truth. This has been going on probably for a long time even, or this is a repeating pattern. Um, 87, Leo. 
82 again or 62, 67. So you also could have a little Gemini because this is King and Queen of Swords. So take it how it resonates, okay? So I'm seeing clarity. This person doesn't get away with being a sneaky liar. You, you'll, you know this. This is something already. They've done it before. This person has bad memories of this. I'm seeing someone's going to get their wishes fulfilled with this clarity. You're getting exactly what they wished for. Justice. You're going to get exactly what you wished for. Happiness and justice for this. Wow. 9-11 and 11-9. Nine. Nine, nine. Nine, seven, nine, six. Justice coming in. So you got justice and judgment. So someone does want a second chance. They see the light now. Um, this is, it's all going to be fair and balanced out. They're going to be stuck. Okay. And then the final card. Yeah, they're, they're pissed off. So in the past, even, or part of this past life, or uh, why I keep, uh, maybe it's a past life thing. It's a repeating, repeating cycle you've dealt with. Um, this might be a pattern that you've had to deal with in multiple lives with this type of thing. This has been something to work on and heal. Infidelity, hurt, lust, greed, scandal, lying, narcissist, gaslighting. So... This is this person is passive aggressive uh, with, and with their their communication as well, and then they're deceptive. Well, you know, five two. Let's see what else we got. Eleven nine. Eleven six and eleven five. So maybe some Scorpio for some of you, but um. And twenty two, two two. They could just be young, immature, but. They've been, this is, the final card is this Five of Swords. So someone feeling really stuck still um, in their thoughts. It's almost like because you no longer will engage with them. This is someone denying that they did anything wrong. Denying that they said anything. Denying it. They act like they don't know what you're talking about. Ooh, play dumb. You're the one, or they project that. Okay. <clears throat> wow, Aries. This one's heavy, but we're going to work through it. All right. Thank you all so very much. Like I said, if this wasn't for you, it wasn't for you. Let it be. Um, there is justice will prevail. The karma, uh, people will get their karma and their just dues for being uh, shady, shitty, liars, thieves, lust demons, uh, greedy mofos. And we can all just have faith and trust that it will all play out the way it's supposed to be. And that's just the way it is. Some things will never change. And that's realizing that, especially with those type of energies, those type of humans, they don't think they're doing anything wrong. They, uh, This person might be a psycho. Like they're a psycho killer. I don't know. They don't have empathy. They're narcissistic. They don't have compassion. Like, uh, and think they don't think about how their actions affect other people. They're only thinking about themselves. In fact, they actually want to cause trauma. They want to cause disruption. They want to cause chaos. They get a thrill out of it. Hmm. All right, let's look. I want to show you guys if we can see. Yes. I got to bring the... Got to bring this over. Hopefully this. Is... So I started one like this with the Libras. This is your candle for your monthly for October. I only have two of them. You guys are the luckiest. I'm almost two hours in. This one was a deep one. So let's blow this out. I'm going to relight it when I come back to do your second video with the Halloween Oracle. All right. Thank you, Aries. And um. I hope you do have a beautiful October month. Check out the description, like I was saying, to see part two as well as part three. And you can also check your rising sign and moon sign. Thank you, Aries. Bye-bye.